Right, see that? There's Dunkery Beacon and there's the people that were behind me and now in front. Because they went up this direct route. But not to worry, it's quite good to actually get another view from another angle. I would have been up there by now. I'd done the diversion, see? I'm still waiting to see the track that turns up. Now, it's good to do this. I don't mind in some ways because it gives me a lot more perspective of it. Look. And I can see a path as well, which I, I should be very close to soon. Yeah, I would have arrived the same time as somebody else. Right, everyone, so at least we've seen it now. It's come, I just said I can't see it. There must be the path very soon now. So, although it's not a race, it's not like climbing Everest, is it? First one to get to the top or anything. I'm just hoping I got go right over there, otherwise I might start bending round myself and get up on that heather there. I might, I might do that in a minute. Go cross country. With it all being burnt, it's probably easy. Yeah, the Macmillan track that's coming off from that beacon. The Macmillan track will lead in further into the National Park of Exmoor. Yeah, by the time I get up there, By the time I get up there, those people might have got fed up and moved off. But I'm going to turn off in a minute and get on that track. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, folks. In the distance, we have Dunkery Beacon. I've done, I'm glad I've done my sweet brown, although I thought I'd been silly. But now I think, no, you haven't. You haven't been silly at all. It's a lovely view. Like I said, the last time I was up there was on my 46th birthday in 1996. I had a day out with a friend from work. And uh, I think it was after work we went. It was... No, it couldn't have been. It was in the winter. I knew it was, it was cold, yeah. I think there was even snow up here, but we didn't all have cameras. We'd never had mobile phones in 96. Not proper ones, anyway. Not the ones, you know, not like got now. And you didn't sort of carry a camera around with you. So basically, basically what happened, I, um, we went up there in the winter, yeah, and then we went to a cafe um, and had um, sort of a type of cream tea or something like that, yeah. I remember now, it was in the school week and then I went home and I might have done something to my kids. I was 44. That's a long time ago, isn't it? I'm 66 now. Wow, that's a long time. That's a long time. Anyway, not to worry, I have been up here, but I don't know what, I think I came up. I, we didn't do this bit round like this. No, we didn't do a swoop round. We, um... No, I'm quite glad I've done it now. That I've had a, a look from a distance as well, not just got straight there. I'm glad I've done this. Because look at the beautiful scenes, everyone. This is Somerset. When I get up on the beacon, I'll be able to have panoramic views all around and, and, and probably get my bearings more. Because there's an awful lot of... Somerset, I don't know. An awful lot of churches, I don't know. That's why I need to camp out here. The reason I need to camp out here is because it's a two-hour journey here. That's two hours back. That's four hours just driving when I could be doing churches and stuff. But I needed to come out here to do what I call the recce. 
<sighs> right, just to get some bearings. It doesn't mean I necessarily have to come to Dunkery Beacon all the time. There's other parts of the Exmoor I want to explore, and lots of churches. There's also the coastal walk over near Porlock. <sighs> so basically, I, I, I might do something next week. It'll still be... We can still have nice weather at the end of September. And last year I went to Dover and Canterbury and to Cambridgeshire. I had a whole week last year visiting places. It was really good. Um, I mean, that was mainly Canterbury Cathedral, Dover Castle, White Cliffs of Dover, um, an abbey, Canterbury Abbey. There was a Roman fort I found. I was there for a long time, and an amphitheatre, I, f I went in a field and, and uh, did images of that. That was um, the end of September. Then, um, after I'd done all that, I went to Cambridgeshire. Um, I stayed in the campsite at Cambridge itself, um, explored a bit of Cambridge. You know, went back to the some of the colleges there, wandered round. Um, the river cam and all that and then I uh, then I did Dunmo I can't remember if I I got a feeling I did nip back to um, yes I did nip back to Borough Green as well on the way home yeah I did I left early and got to and I did Brinkley as well yeah then when I got back on the motorway, like the M12, whatever it's called, I decided to go to Dunmo, where the Fitzwalters are buried. A place of huge significance in history as well. Little Dunmo. The chapel there, which was once much bigger, but was um, dissolved, like most of them were, by Henry VIII. In about 1835 or something. Right, so there we go. Now if you carry on some big tracks along the top there, you're leading deeper into Exmoor. And apparently from up the top you can see the borders of Dartmoor, which is be over that way. Now it's not too cloudy today. There's hints of blue sky, so I might be able to get some good views when I'm up there. So this is Sheila. On Exmoor now, we've moved up from the Quantox, although of course I should be back there all the time. That's like my, that's like my garden, the Mendips and the Quantox. Um, but because this is such a distance from home, I can't just come out here, you can't just get a bus, it, it just doesn't work. On these information things they say, oh yeah, this number 20, the buses don't bring you out here. You know, you'd be walking for miles and miles. I'm hoping I see some deer and all. Because they've been frightened off the Quantox, that's for sure. Right, one more zoom in at the Dunkery Beacon. There's probably, hope, hopefully, there is a plaque up there. Somerset, beautiful, beautiful Somerset. Over and out.